and today we're going to go ahead and demonstrate our brand new 25 liter thermostat fryers. So the brand on this unit is going to be our own company brand called Cooler Depot. There will be a sticker in the front um, right there with our Cooler Depot logo. Now let's go ahead and first before anything let's go ahead and give you the dimensions of this unit so you have an idea. So for the length you're going to be looking at about 26 and a half inches of the length. For the depth it's going to be 20 inches and the unit is going to stand at about 31 inches high. Now the unit does have wheels on the bottom, okay? So you can easily, you know, push it around, move it around. Now, over here in the front, this is where you'll locate all your switches. Before anything, I'm, I want to open up the unit so you have an idea how it looks inside. I'll give you the inside dimensions of the inside of the unit as well. So it has two handles right here. What you're going to do is just open them up, push them back, It'll open it up. Now, this is a little handle right here that you can place. There's a little, I'm sorry, this is a little handle that you can place right here on the bottom. All you gotta do is just push it back and it'll stay put right there and it'll look just like that. Same thing for this side. Put the handle right here on the bottom. Hook it, hook it to the bottom over here and it'll stay like that. Now, this is how the inside looks. You will be uh, one of the baskets will be included with this fryer. Now inside dimensions of the unit, you're looking at about 23 inches of the length. For the depth, it's going to be about 13 and a half inches. I'm sorry, from front to back. Bottom to the top, you're looking at about seven and a half inches. So that's a space, you know, that you have inside for this fryer. The capacity is gonna be 25 liters of oil and this basket will be included with the fryer. Now as you can see over here, there's two like tabletop sides right here. This is where you simply place your food once it's done frying. You can place it right here, maybe your fish or any, type, uh, any other type of food that you fry. You can leave it open like that or you can close it up just like this. So you can do that as well. Now over here on the bottom, your switches are going to be located over here. You got your temperature control switch. Simply control your temperature right here. You got an on and off switch. Turn on your fire. Now over here, this is where you're gonna put your batteries. It will require two of the D2 batteries in here. This you will need in order to turn on the fire, to start up the fire. And then this is to control the fire level so if you want to raise the level of the fire you just rotate it to the right you want to lower the level of the fire you rotate it to the left okay now and this is going to be your uh, drain for the oil so once you're done you can just uh, just take out all the oil through here through the waste now over here on the side this is where you're going to plug your gas. This can work either natural gas or propane. So you have both of those options for this unit. And if you take a look over here on the side, there is a little plug for the electric unit. You don't need this. As long as you use the batteries, it's going to be okay. You don't need the electric for the unit. It's just to start up the fire. Now, if you have any other questions regarding this unit or are interested, go on our website, CoolerDepotUSA.com. You can make a purchase for one of these units on there. The price will be on there as well. Or you can also give us a call and we'll help you guys out with any questions you might have. Thank you for watching.